fish, crabs, eels, oysters, wading and migratory birds, fox, raccoon, possum, all of these critters we are now starting to see again entering into Thalia Creek and the surrounding properties. And this is because we've just wrapped up construction on our phase one wetland at Princess Anne High School, which is part of our larger Lynn Haven River Basin Aquatic Ecosystem Restoration Project. The main goals of this overarching project is to restore three different habitat types, hard reef structure in the water, submerged aquatic vegetation also in the water, and then wetland restoration. Our non-federal sponsor for this project is the City of Virginia Beach, and the city schools of Virginia Beach have been wonderful in allowing us to uh, restore this property to what it uh, should be by removing invasive species. Phragmites australis is a non-native, very invasive species that tends to just take over tidal wetland areas and uh, it's not good habitat and it's not good food source for most um, organisms. Spartina alterniflora ultimately will benefit fisheries and oysters in the Lynn Haven River watershed. We've been able to have this project uh, come to fruition and become an area where the schools can also uh, have an outdoor living resources laboratory where the students are gonna assist with monitoring efforts and just learn about what's actually in their backyard. Now, even though this small creek, Thalia Creek, is, is, might seem small to them, it actually, of course, is connected to the larger Lynn Haven River, which is then, of course, tied to our Chesapeake Bay, and everything is interconnected. We want to restore all the habitats to continue seeing the improvements in our water quality. We want our critters to continue coming back, our native species, and just to have a better quality of life for all.